taken people's biggest nightmare proposal writing and we've now using this new tool been able to simplify it make it faster easier for people out there so it's definitely game changer for all of those out here who were intimidated by the proposal writing process or even intimidated by how to review all of these government documents i'm going to take you through this video today to show you how we're using this new tool to help us in simplifying our proposal writing as well as grant writing and creating an outline in the matrix so that we know first of all whether we should even be trying to pursue this because we understand the requirements and then secondly if we are trying to pursue it what does the outline look like and then even get to the point where it can help us draft an initial response so let's go through today and i'll show you and using this example that we pulled off sam.gov how do we take and use this particular opportunity to master the craft of proposal writing for those of you who may not have that technical background all right so i'm here on sam.gov and on sam.gov i just essentially went to contact opportunities i just did a search for solicitation and now, as you can see, I pulled up a bunch of different solicitations and I was going through them in order to use this example. So I found this particular one, Pueblo Pintado Health Center Construction. All right, we're gonna look at that one. And as we're going through, as you see the amendment, there's a bunch of amendments added on here. Uh, and then what we wanna look for is, let's, pull, let's go through all the amendments. We wanna look for the actual original solicitation or here it is, of the RFP. So I've got this RFP and we've already pulled it up. And so this is what it looks like. And this particular RFP is 65 pages. All right. And then I'm going to use another example, cybersecurity pathway coursework, initialing and support. And again, as we're scrolling through on sam.gov, I found this SOL solicitation. We pull that one down. Sorry. On screen. here and this one is 54 pages so we're gonna look at that one as well so these are the two that we're going to be looking at for the purposes of today's demo so now let's go over here to our govcon gpt we're going to look at proposal manager and we're going to upload on a demo so we'll upload the one in a 25 qe I'm going to hit send and watch. And so again, 25QE is, let's see which one, while it's doing that, let's find out which one we're looking at. Yeah, it's a cybersecurity credentialing one. All right. All right, so now it's done its thing. Cybersecurity pathway course for proposal development checklist. All right, we've got the date and time. So proposal structure, volume one, administrative, no page limits, good. This is the information I'm looking for. All right, volume two, your technical proposal. So uh, not to exceed 20 pages, sub-factor one, courseware, sub-factor two, hardware, three, virtual professional learning, four, credentials. That's in your performance work statement, tells you where it's at, and then your past performance, three to five past performance references within the past five years. And it has the attached professional performance questionnaire with reference for each. And then volume four, your price, no page limit attachment. Gives you a formatting requirement and evaluation criteria, technical approach, right? So as you can see here, uh, it did that really fast, really easily. Now I want to, because again, uh, I just wanna create a new chat. So we're gonna do it again, proposal manager, and let's upload our second example. Are you frustrated and you still haven't figured out how to do federal contracts just yet? Join us May 28th, our next cohort for our GovCon Accelerator. Visit below govconcoaching.com for more information. But we've got all new 2025 trainings. We've got new templates. We've incorporated some of our past boot camps, like our first partner challenge and our proposal boot camp that's included. Plus, we're bringing in industry experts to help teach some of the trainings and provide some of the additional resources that you need in terms of learning from people who are actually doing this in the field. No one else is doing anything like this. In addition to all of our email scripts, phone scripts, Everything that's in our GovCon vault that has all the templates that you need that you can plug and play into any of the AI tools. Plus, depending upon where you're at, we've got new AI tools to help automate the process of doing the activities that formerly took hours and hours and hours. They're now taking minutes using AI and some of our other programs. If it sounds like something that you're interested in, visit GovConCoaching.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you on May 28th. So we're going to do this one, B01. We're gonna hit enter. 
Okay. And just for the reference point, BO1 was the Pueblo Pintado Health Center construction project. Like I said, we just were here in sam.gov and we pulled down, I didn't even go past page two. I pulled down this one, which was due on June the 6th. And then I pulled down this cybersecurity one credentialing support, which uh, is due the ninth, a couple days. All right, just again, I wanna pull down two different examples. All right, Pueblo. All right, that one says, based on this, okay. Here's information. Now, it looks like in that Pueblo one, we'll go back here. So here, where is it at? So let's scroll down. Uh, if you notice, there's been several amendments, right? So they looks like they've extended this project as well. But let's go back in. So the initial original date, uh, that it was due was February 20th, but it looks like they didn't get enough responses, so they've extended it. But let's go over the on the technical side because we want to look at which requirement. On the technical side, technical experience, 10, 10 page limit, technical approach and draft schedule, key personnel, organizational chart, past performance, volume two, your price proposal. So again, you need three to five projects. At least one must be from a healthcare facility construction. Each project narrative limited to two pages. So what you can see here, if you don't have this, then I automatically you know these are the things that you need for your teaming partner, right? So this is what you're gonna to need to find in a teaming partner that has that type of experience. The product narrative, two pages, technical expertise, okay? For higher ratings, you need to have at least two healthcare facilities projects, at least one project on American Indian and Alaska Native Reservations, at least one project in a remote rural site. If you're using a subcontractor, include no more than two products total from all subcontractors. So out of your three to five products, you can include no more than two. So that means you got to have one yourself. And then on your technical approach, it talks about product description, site limitations, draft scheduling, draft schedule that shows these items, key personnel, project management, have six-year experience, I've been two and six different. So you can see here how we were able to pull, extract the information that's needed, right? So it shows your internal review. You've got a pink team, red team, gold team, and then responsibility side matrix. So it says, next, would you like me to draft an initial outline on this development process? Yes, please draft outline. Okay. So for me, what has been a game changer was again, several things, right? Um, now again, subcontracting if you're a large business only, you gotta have a bid bond, to your bid bond. So what happens is for me, uh, it allows us to take this information and then send it out to the appropriate people. So we're able to use this information that we've created here to send out to the appropriate team. So for example, me, when we're going after opportunities, we are we have a proposal writing team that actually writes our proposals, but we basically carve it out in sections. We have an estimator who actually estimates the uh, seed project. We then have a person that puts the estimator also usually for us, puts together the schedule. So having knowing what requirements are that they have in here allows us to essentially put this on Google Docs and send it out to the perfect teams. So for me, this has been a game changer because again, uh, it used to take us hours to go through and it pull out what the compliant factors were in this. So as you can see, I've done several of these already. Uh, let's go back to the cybersecurity pathway. So let's let's go ahead and have it do a draft outline. Yes, right, outline. Boom, there you are. And so again, the goal is that you wanna get it to where uh, you have an outline of the proposal. So now you're only inserting the differentiators for your organization, your team, the specifics around who you are. And that is gonna allow regular people to compete with 
a larger organizations who had in the past an advantage because they could do this with these big teams. So again, using AI and technology to make it easier for the small guys to compete with the bigger, more uh, established firms, which will allow all of us to have more competitive shot at this and be able to deliver more value. So I hope this demo is helpful. Again, AI is changing the way that we do things. If you're curious about how this works, please feel free to set up an assessment call with us or a demo call to show you how this particular product works. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video.